Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Hello. The Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit is taking place here in Hong Kong. On behalf of Premier Li Tia, I would like to extend my congratulations to the government of the Hong Kong SAR government for the successful organizations of this event. And my warmest welcome to all. President Xi Jinping attaches great importance to the development of Hong Kong. He said, my heart and that of the central government are always with Hong Kong compatriots. At the meeting celebrating the 25th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland, he solemnly declared that one country, two systems is a good system. There is no reason to change such a good system, and it must be adhered to over the long run. The central government fully supports Hong Kong in maintaining its unique status and strengths on a long-term basis in consolidating its rule as an international financial shipping and trading center. At this time last year, Hong Kong successfully hosted the first Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit, which attracted more than 200 elites from the global financial industry to attend. It has proved Hong Kong's special status and highlighted its prominent advantages as an international financial center. The summit was more successful than expected. At present, momentous changes of a like not seen in a century are accelerating across the world. How to adapt to the complex environment and find opportunities for development is a major issue we all face. The theme of this summit, living with complexity, fits the current situation and echoes and is of great relevance and practical significance. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, President Xi Jinping has pointed out that finance, finance is one of the country's most fun fundamental interests. The financial industry is Hong Kong's pillar industry, and the International Financial Center is Hong Kong's distinguished brand. Enjoying the backing of the motherland while staying connected with the world is a notable strength unique to Hong Kong. Hong Kong has seized opportunities in global economic development and over time grew from a small export uh, island exporting spice into a world-renowned international financial center. The Victoria Harbor has undergone a sea change since the return of Hong Kong to the motherland. With the strong support of the central government and the concerted effort of the SAR government and industry elites, Hong Kong has weathered storms such as the Asian financial turmoil, the international financial crisis and COVID-19 pandemic. The international competitiveness and global influence of the financial industry has been increasing, with strong resilience and vitality for all to see. The industry has made leapfrog development. The position of Hong Kong as an international financial center is more sturdy each day. It has also made unique and significant contribution to the development of our nation. As the largest source of foreign capital and a destination of foreign investment in the mainland, Hong Kong is a prime gateway for investment and financing for mainland enterprises outside the mainland, a testing ground for opening up of the country's financial market to the outside world, an important platform for furthering development of Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, GBA, and the high quality development of Belt and Road initiatives. It also plays an important base for the international of renminbi and the pivot of a strong and international financial cooperation. Looking ahead, Hong Kong will continue to achieve greater development in the process of integrating international development. Hong Kong as an international financial center will be more bright, vibrant. Ladies and gentlemen, the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China has drawn up a grand blueprint to build a modern socialist country in all aspects. It has depicted a bright future for Hong Kong's long-term prosperity and stability. I hope that Hong Kong will give full play to its strength and distinctive features to consolidate and elevate its international position in finance. I hope that it will conduct deeper, closer, and broader exchanges and cooperation with other regions and countries, that it will better integrate itself into China's overall development and further contribute to the promotion of the great rejuvenation of China, Chinese nation through a Chinese path to modernization. I'd like to take this opportunity to make some suggestions. First, Hong Kong should endeav endeavor to strengthen its development and further enhance influence. Hong Kong is a sound and efficient financial infrastructure an open, diversified, appropriately regulated financial market system with active market activities. It has the market advantage of linking up with the mainland with international financial centers such as New York and London. We support Hong Kong 
in supporting the facilitation of cross-border trade and investment, expanding the openness of the financial sector to the outside world and other areas for early and pilot implementation. We support Hong Kong in the enhancement of the mechanism of financial interconnection between the mainland and Hong Kong to further open up the investment and financing channels the strengthening of the function of offshore renminbi business hub, the enhancement of the function of the International Asset Management Center, the building of an Asia-Pacific financial and technological hub, and a green financial center in, in Asia. We support Hong Kong to continuously improve its function as an international financial center. Second, Hong Kong should maintain this international character and further expand its circle of friends. Hong Kong has won the trust and accolades of international investors with its free and open business environment, simple tax system, common law system that aligns with the world advantages of having the Chinese and Western cultures converging here, an extensive international business network. We support Hong Kong in its effort to maintain its international character, to better form its financing function as an international financial center, actively participate in regional cooperation, strengthen its business relations with the global financial sector, expand into markets such as the ASEAN and the Middle East, serve the high quality development of Belt and Road Initiative, and better tell China's stories and Hong Kong's stories on the international stage. Thirdly, Hong Kong should actively adapt to market changes and further integrate into the overall development of the country. China is the world's second largest economy with the highest share of economic growth in the world. Hence, China's development itself has global significance. Since the beginning of the year, China's economy has been picking up in general and is expected to achieve the economic growth target for the whole year. It will certainly inject fresh positive energy into the global economic recovery. Hong Kong has always been an important link between our motherland and the rest of the world. In the future, Hong Kong will be able to give full play to its unique advantage as an international financial center, actively integrate into the overall development of the country, participate in the development of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA, and further build its own strength through participating in the development and modernization of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we're earnestly implementing the new development concept, constructing a new development pattern, promoting high quality development, and striving to write a new chapter of Chinese style modernization, which will certainly create new historical opportunities for Hong Kong's development. The recently concluded Central Financial Work Conference stressed the need to consolidate and enhance Hong Kong's position as an international financial center, increase support for Hong Kong's development as an offshore RMB business hub, expand the interconnection between the mainland and Hong Kong financial markets, and attract more international capital through Hong Kong to take part in the development of the mainland. This is not only the central government's high degree of recognition of Hong Kong's status as an international financial center, but also a high expectation for Hong Kong to achieve high quality financial development and to scale new heights. We hope that the financial sector in Hong Kong will seize the opportunity and forge ahead to take Hong Kong's status as an international financial center to a new level. The Hong Kong Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit is an important platform to showcase China's charm and Hong Kong's charisma to the international community. It's also an important op opportunity for international financial institutions and investors to gain an in-depth understanding of Hong Kong and the mainland markets. I hope that all of you who are industry leaders from the world's top financial institutions will speak freely and engage in in-depth exchanges, share your insights and exchange ideas so as to provide new insights and solutions to address the complex and volatile global macro situation. We sincerely invite all of you to establish a foothold in the Hong Kong market, actively participate in China's high quality development and modernization, and jointly explore new opportunities for global financial cooperation and development. I wish the Hong Kong Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit a great success and a brighter future for the Hong Kong International Financial Center and for Hong Kong itself. Thank you.